All righty. What's up guys, Vinny here with Sneaker Tweaker and today we have our first impressions on the Nike LeBron Next Gen. These shoes look pretty damn identical to the 20s. It looks more higher cut, but looks like it still goes underneath your ankle bone, so probably still a low cut. Let's start it off with the traction and just kind of take a look and see what are some of the main differences. I honestly thought these were just going to be a alternative version to the 20s, but it's actually a takedown model. $40 cheaper, $160 you can get it on Nike. Let's see what's missing and what's still there starting off with the traction the traction actually seems pretty similar to the 20s it's more of a, a multi-directional pattern and it's said to be a map of Akron which you guys are familiar with LeBron and his history he's actually born in Akron Ohio and that's where he was raised grew up all of that the pattern seems or the traction tread even just seems pretty thick it seems pretty durable I have no reason to believe that it's going to wear down easily but that is completely up to you guys if you guys want to take it out test it however it is still multi-directional and I believe it's going to perform pretty well just like the 20s as for I guess still on on the bottom of the shoe to original support one thing that is missing from these that is in the 20s is a carbon fiber midfoot chain plate however this does still have it seems like it still has a more of a plastic kind of a TPU shank plate it's a little X but it pretty sure it goes underneath the tread and it looks like like it'll do do the job pretty well as for the cushion this is where it stays pretty much the same there's only a very slight difference the midsole is still cushion there is still a four foot zoom unit still turbo top loaded the biggest difference is in the heel the heel zoom unit is actually top loaded in the next gens whereas in the 20s it's bottom loaded shout out to foot doctor zach he actually cut these open and even tested out the bounce apparently the bounce is better in the 20s as opposed to the next gens the way the zoom is designed in the heel apparently gives it more bounce when it's bottom loaded i always thought it was the opposite but hey um now we know for sure as for the upper you have mesh pretty much all throughout the shoe and then you have some felt panels on the side of the shoe and just around the heel and then as for the swoosh or the swooshes on this it, it does feature a double which like the 20s these ones are actually stitched just all the way through as opposed to having part of it protrude out of the shoe just like the 20s some people have already started testing these shoes out tried them on i've heard good things about it and i can't wait to get these out on the court once i do i'll let you guys know how these perform if they've been just slightly lower than the lebron 20s i think for 40 dollars cheaper does tend to fit into more people's budgets but stay tuned for the performance review and if there are any other shoes you guys would like me to review please comment down below for more content like this, please like, subscribe, and follow. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Um, babe, do you think these would go with black socks? Yeah. Okay, but the other one's orange, so. What do you mean, the other one? Like you're gonna wear a different shoe? Like. N no. Well, this is the I promise colorway, so this other well, shoe. Don't you think you should have shown the people that it comes in two different colors? Sorry, guys. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Anyway, they come in two different colors, so if you like mismatched shoes, which it's been all the rage, these come in mismatched colors, and yeah, looks super cool. Stay tuned for the performance review, 